What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an i -Corps. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? No, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. Step away, sir.
than that of William Marshall. William die too in the Lord war. Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. Sir, you are not welcome here. Why can't I forgive you, Father? I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands.
Effectiveness has been proven by many. The wet boots will be proud of me. McCollum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCollum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. 
The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic? Why would you... Ah... Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. Or should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? A creature called a disaster is about to be unleashed. It falls upon me, as once it did Marshall, to stop it before the whole country is ravaged. I should have destroyed that book. And yet, I wish I could join this battle alongside you. But this crusade is not mine to fight. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire. And tore out my mother's throat. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. How are you adapting to immortality? I feel so powerful it gives me shivers. I could be the greatest vampire hunter ever. Your worst nightmare in truth. Will you leave the guard now that you are what you are? Are we not creatures of deceit? I could hide my nature from my men. Or name a successor. Go my own way. I know not yet my path. Will you hunt me down? Not for now. But you had better behave, Doctor. Or I may change my mind. Farewell, my progeny. Do not stretch your luck, Reed. Burn it, 
turn of steady voice with good. Good evening, Nurse Hall. Good evening. How are things, now that Dr. Swansea is back? I must admit, the situation is better. We still have to deal with the epidemic. But it's good to have someone in charge again. Goodbye, now. Jonathan, my dear, I can never thank you enough. Thank me? For what? Come now, you know what I mean. I am, well, I'm just like you. I'm glad you like it. How could I not be happy? You offered me the ultimate freedom. More than I ever could have dreamt of. Have you news of Geoffrey McCollum? I'm sure both of you would have quite an interesting discussion after recent events. He left the hospital without being treated for the severe beating you gave him. We'll meet again soon enough. Does not the prospect of meeting him as a vampire thrill you? The two old enemies reunited post-mortem. Maybe we could even share a glass of... wine. I really don't know if he will accept his condition. He has spent his life beheading leeches, you know. What will you do, now that you are immortal? Experiment, my dear colleague. I have an eternity to make scientific progress. I could be the only scientist able to undertake extreme experiments upon himself. My god, Edgar. Did you learn nothing from your forays into folly? I have, I swear. No more experiments on mortals. See? I said mortals. Uh, how quickly the mind adapts! What kind of experiments? Who knows? Nervous shock, brain damage, pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. I could be the next Henry Head. How do you feel since you changed? Absolutely fine! Did you know I can determine the health of every patient or nurse just by looking at him? Fascinating! Have you taken a life yet, Edgar? Don't you think that's a private matter? I would not ask you such an indiscreet question. Do you feel the hunger? Yes. It's very peculiar, not like mortal hunger at all. It's like I'm never sated. Fortunately, blood is no rare commodity at Pembroke. Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? Of course. I can help more than ever. And since I'm already dead, I can't get sick. Are you not afraid Prewen will find you? Next time, they will do more than abduct and torture you. I remain a man of peace. If things were to go awry, I would flee rather than slice them up as you would, my friend. Have you seen Elizabeth? Has she passed this way since you returned? No. 
And I'm terrified to see her again. I really am, Jonathan. She could very well tear me to pieces for what I did. Goodbye, Edgar. I'm certain we'll meet again. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. Oh! <laughs> 